Hey there, today I wanna to talk about something I hadn't thought that much about before, but then I read a research study and I can't unsee it. And that's the connection between interoception and proprioception, especially when it comes to how kids manage effort and fatigue. At first glance, they seem like two separate systems. One helps kids know where their body is in space and the other helps them feel what's happening inside. But the more I was reading, the more I realized they're so deeply intertwined. So let's start with the basics. Proprioception is the sense that helps us know where our arms and legs are, how we're moving, and how much force we're using. It's essential for coordination, for posture, and movement control. Interoception is the sense of what's happening inside the body, like noticing your heart's racing, or your muscles are burning when you're working out, or that you're tired, or you're thirsty. So it's also closely tied to emotions and regulation. But here's what really struck me when I read this research. When a child is working hard, holding a position, pushing heavy, pushing something heavy or trying not to fall, they're not just using proprioception, they also need interoception to feel how much effort it's taking. So this study that I read by a group of researchers looked at people with high alexithemia. That diagnosis is people have trouble identifying emotions. So these individuals were less accurate when they were asked to judge how much muscle effort they were using. And they didn't have vision to help them. So it was purely about feeling it from the inside. And this study made me think, I mean, I can't believe I've never realized how deep this connection is before. But how often do we see kids who overshoot, undershoot, or tire quickly during tasks and assume it's a motor skill problem? But I realized if a child doesn't sense how hard they're working, they can't adjust. So that's not just proprioception, it's also interoception. And it's just something I think that we might be missing, or maybe you've always realized it in the past, and this was not a newsflash for you. For me, I just found it so interesting. Because when a child struggles, is it because they don't know where their joints are in space? Or is it because they don't know how much energy they're using to do the task? And of course, sometimes it's both, but it could be the effort that that perception of how hard they're working that's off. Maybe they don't feel when to stop. They don't recognize muscle fatigue. They don't realize their heart's racing and that's making everything harder. Movement, regulation, transitions. So what can we do about it? Maybe we could start layering interoception into our motor-based activities. After climbing or pushing, ask, was that easy or hard? During playtime, we can ask, can you feel your legs getting tired? Or we could use visuals like energy meters or muscle effort charts. Built-in body scans and breathing can help pause kids pause and reflect about how their body is feeling and what their body is telling them. And most importantly, we can work on teaching kids language to match what they feel. So saying things like, your arms are telling you that you're getting tired. Mm, that tight feeling you're having in your belly, that might mean you're frustrated. It's very simple, but I do think it could be powerful to add to the activities and the tasks that we're giving kids when it comes to working on proprioception. So here's what I learned about this research. Coordination isn't just about knowing where your body is. It's also about knowing how it feels to use it. Interoception and proprioception are more connected than we realize and effort is where they meet. So if this is something you're seeing in your students or kids, you know, you're not alone. We see lots of kids who have sensory processing difficulties and we can support both systems so we can help children move better, feel more in control and navigate their world with greater confidence. So thanks for watching and let me know in the comments, have you ever considered effort and fatigue as part of interoception and how it can play a role in proprioceptive input and sensory processing and a child's response to activities. All right, see you next time. And please let me know and don't forget to like and follow.